Hello, my name is Bridget and today I'm going to be talking about A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J Mass. This book was fantastic. Let me just tell you, Sarah J Mass, can we be best friends? This book is amazing. I haven't done a review in so long, but this book definitely got me out of my reading slump that I've been in for like the past two weeks or so, and it was just amazing. I actually got a signed copy of it, and it was awesome when this came in the mail, and I just sort of knew this would be the next book I was reading, because even though I was reading Mara Dyer, this book was just, it sounded amazing, and I was in a reading slump, so I was like, you know what, I need something fantastic to get me out of it, and this definitely did. I want to read so many more books now, and you're going to be seeing a lot of reviews just because of it. Something else that's really awesome about this book, this pronunciation guide at the end, which tells you exactly how to pronounce everything. This is amazing, Sarah, thank you so much, because without this, we would all have so much trouble pronouncing all of the characters' names, and everyone would pronounce it differently, and they'd be like, no, I'm right. But you can just direct them right here and be like, this is how you say it. This is what's up. So let's get on to my reading. Characters, I gave a 20 out of 20 or one star. Sarah J Maas does such an amazing job developing her characters. You really get to know them throughout the story and you feel like you really know the characters as if you're one of them, except some of the characters still do have that air of mystery, like Resand. You still don't know a lot about him and you still want to know more, but at the same time you know him as a character. And she gives everyone such a good story, like the villain has this amazing backstory, so you can understand why she's doing what she is, even if that's not exactly the right thing to be doing. So you understand where she's coming from. Plot, I gave a 20 out of 20 or another star. I love Beauty and the Beast and it was one of my favorite Disney movies when I was little. Sarah does an amazing job incorporating that fairy tale into this book while at the same time making it her own story. Setting, I gave a 20 out of 20 or another star. You weren't given too much information all at one time. The whole court system was fantastically set up. It was really interesting and you got a lot of information about that that made it seem like you wanted to know more about the world and it really intrigued you and it gave you a great outline of how the world works. Feyre, being a painter, made the whole experience of seeing things through her eyes a lot more interesting just because since she's a painter, she recognizes all these different colors, so you can really tell the different colors and you can really imagine what's going on since she's describing it. Writing, I gave a 20 out of 20 or another star. As I said, I've been in a horrible reading slump for these past two or so weeks, and this book snapped me right out of it. The book sucked me right in and enthralled me the entire time, so I never wanted to put it down. I just was so sad when I put it down. and. I just wanted to go back home and pick it up and not do anything else. I just spent hours of my day reading this book because I just never wanted to put it down. Enjoyment was another 20 out of 20 or another stuff. I love this book so much. I had such an amazing time reading it and I cannot wait for the next book. Overall, I got a 100 out of 100 or 5 out of 5 stars. That is all I'm going to say without spoiling you. This is a fantastic book. I recommend all of you go pick it up. It is amazing. Just I love this book. I'm just going to discuss the pairings in this book because I know there's like a ship war going on here when all the people are talking about the different ships that they have while reading this book. So if you do not want to get spoiled, please leave now. I would hate to spoil anything for you and definitely go read it and then come back and discuss with me because I've got a lot of feelings about these ships in this book. I'll see you when you've read it. Bye! <laughs> so I love the whole relationship thing. First of all, I love the relationship between Feyre and Tamlin. They're just so cute together and I just love them. And obviously they're Beauty and the Beast, at least in this one. I saw a theory sort of thing saying that maybe Resand is the, the beast for the whole entire series, but since I've only got the first book here, I'm saying Tamlin is the beast. And they're obviously so cute together. He's so sweet to her in the beginning when he's trying to compliment her and he's like, your hair is washed and clean. They had a huge portion of the book together so we really got to see them grow in their relationship. We got to see them really fall in love and I really liked that about it because it really gave you more depth to their relationship. Whereas with Resand, I didn't see as much with them together. I saw him 
but you don't know as much about him. Like, he's really a mystery. And even though he's really good looking and stuff, we don't know that much about him. So, you know, we met Risa and once within like 300 pages. And I was like, this book is only like 400 pages. So, you know, I can't like Reese that much because he doesn't get a lot of screen time in this book. And Tamlin is obviously the better choice because, you know, there, there was that one time that we met Reese within the first 300 pages at that party and he just sort of saved her and that was it. He didn't even get a name there and I was like, is that him or what? I don't know. Then you get to the part where she's going to go save Tamlin because she didn't save him before so now she's got to come save him from Amaranthia. There we finally do see Reese and we get to know him a bit more, not that much because obviously there's still a whole lot of mystery surrounding him but we do get to know him a bit more. He's so intriguing and dark and mysterious and I just love that about characters. I love those dark, mysterious characters. They're still really good looking and you can really like them because they're sort of good guys. They're like leaning toward the good side and even if they're bad and they're good looking, you know, you can still like them. But you know, I really like those characters that are sort of good but they're still dark and mysterious and it's like, oh, you're cute. And I totally got that from Reese, and I love him just because of that. So I love both of them. I just, I like both. I'm still undecided for who is my favorite ship. Right now I'm leaning more towards Tamlin and Feyre just because they had so much more time together. And I know Feyre and Reese will totally get a lot more time together in the next book because she has to go and stay her week every month with him for like the rest of her eternal life. So we're going to definitely get a lot more time with them together. Really excited to see that because that's going to be interesting. And we don't know that much about Reese, so I can't really like his side more than Tamlin's side right now just because we don't really know that much about him and we know a lot more about Tamlin and I like Tamlin. He's, he's a great guy. And I loved her relationship with Lucian because they were really cute together and she's that was a cute relationship. I wouldn't want her to be with him, but I did like their banter and I thought they were like sort of nice friends because I could see why he didn't like her in the beginning, but they did sort of grow in each other and become a bit better friends. And I liked how her reaction to trying to find a loophole in this whole deal was going, you know what, that, that Lucian guy really doesn't like me, so I'm going to go ask him if he could talk to Tamlin for me, because Tamlin's a nice one, but I'm gonna talk to Lucian. You know, because that makes total sense. But as of now, I'm leaning towards Tamlin and Feyre because I like them, but I do like Reese and Feyre. Like, I'm not sure exactly. Like, I like them together, but they didn't get that much time and he wasn't that great of a person. I mean, Tamlin had some issues too. I, they both have issues, but Tamlin had so much more time with Feyre that I'm leaning more towards him right now. You could sway me towards Reese if you really have a strong argument. I mean, I really like those dark characters. He is awesome. And I would love him, but I need to see him more and get more of his story to really make a fine judgment on who I like better. I'm super excited though for the next book and I hope you guys are too. Let me know down in the comments what you thought about all of this. Who do you ship? Tamlin and Feyre or Reese and Feyre? I will talk to you guys about the book down there because I think we could have some awesome conversations. What do you think is going to happen in the next book? I mean, I don't know. What was your favorite parts? I just love the whole book. It was awesome. I will see you guys in my next video, which will probably be up really soon because it will probably be another review because I feel like reading a lot of books now that I'm out of my reading slump. I will see you guys in my next video, which will hopefully be up like Friday or something. So I will see you then. Bye!